Hello everyone. So today in this fixed camera system and other rail camera systems uh, based on tutorial series, this is what we are going to work on. So here, if I enter this courtyard towards that row, uh, this uh, fixed camera that we have placed a bit up in the level is activated. So we see the character through that camera. And if I go back through that door and exit, the regular third person camera will be activated here like this. So this is something that some people had requested in the previous videos of this series. So let's see how to implement this today. And this is the basic plan that I'm going to implement this. So in this uh, CLM camera system, we already have implemented enable trigger and I'm going to add another disable trigger. Once play go through the enable trigger, the fixed camera or the rail camera will be activated. And if player go through this disable trigger, uh, the camera will be switched back to the default camera that is available within the player. And uh, let's see how to implement that in Blueprints today. And before we get started, as always, I'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in the channel uh, from my Patreon page. So link is in the description below. Feel free to check it out. And let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, so to test this scenario, I have added the camera over here, a fixed camera where it also focuses on the player and the start trigger is placed over here. And I'm going to start the game somewhere around here and note that I have not enabled default camera for any of these fixed or rail cameras. So we will be starting with default third person perspective. Let me play and here is the preview. Here. Now we are going in with the third person view and once I enter through here the camera is switched to this fixed angle so now what I want to do is this part is already implemented if I go back from here I want to switch back to the regular third person view and that part is not implemented yet okay so for that so as i said this is the plan that i'm going to have we will have enable triggers or multiple trigger or multiple triggers and disable trigger or multiple triggers so you can create subclasses and add additional triggers as required but for now i don't think i would need for this so let me open the blueprint here so the CLM camera now here we have when we all have with this start trigger uh, I use the name enable so I'll use I'll rename this to enable that seems more suitable so here let's add another trigger or we can just duplicate this one I'll call it disable trigger and I'll place it in a way like this. Now in here on component begin overlap just like this on component begin overlap enable trigger we can use this is player interface method that we already have implemented to detect if it is the player character and if yes we need to disable so how should we disable i think it would be better if i add another interface event 
into the player character through this BPI player interface that we have already implemented in this player character here. So I call this enable character camera. So whatever the default camera or the character have will be re-enabled when we call this function and I'll call it from here. Enable character camera. Compile. Now let's implement this enable character camera in our third person character class. So here, enable character camera. Now what we have to do is let's get the controller and then set view target with blend and the new view target is this character which is cell and after that I'll clear this previous camera value and the new camera values so once I clear them in this function where we get the rotation of the camera in order to give the moment inputs since this is not valid anymore we will automatically get the rotation of player's camera um well actually rather than just set in this perhaps we can do this way it would be more smoother i'll call this update camera component and as the new camera, uh, give this follow camera. By doing this, uh, it has to be act. Okay. Mm. No. We need to call it like this. Update camera component. Right. Now new camera. Oh, should this be actor? Well, let's scratch that for now. Let's keep it this way. Because if I go in that direction, we will have to implement this gate forward rotation as well in the player. Okay, now here, for this camera, here is the disable trigger I'll put it over here so when this guy exit the third person camera will be re-enabled one more thing we shouldn't attempt this if this camera is not already active so if this is the active camera we should try this okay all right now let's play and see here we are in the regular third person camera once I go through here the fixed camera is enabled as you see so we can walk in this courtyard and if I go back now here the third person camera is re-enabled all right and if i go again it is again enabled or switched back to previous uh, fixed camera and some additional things so 
we may not always need to have a disable component for all the cameras because there could be places that one camera is only switch to a, another type of camera rather than going back to the default third person camera so in such a scenario if you want to have that perhaps you can add another variable here something like can disable and if it is false you can just keep uh, collisions disabled for the disabled trigger so yeah let me just do that can disable Okay, by default I leave it false and here in the construction script if can disable is false then I'll get the disabled trigger and here we can remove set the visibility make it invisible like this and also disable collisions so visibility to false and set collision enabled to no collision and if it is true that means can disable is true we should make it visible and collision enabled Corey only because there is no need for to have physics collision right now here you don't see the exit trigger because in this camera can disable this false so I make can disable true now you can see the exit trigger um, I tested this and for some reason it doesn't seem to work so let me delete this and here let's add additional end condition and can disable Now here camera 6 which is the camera over there can disable is false so if I start from here and once I go over there the fixed camera will be enabled like this and even if I go through the door it will not enable the third person camera but if I keep the can disable enabled it should yeah now uh, if i go through the door it should disable oh, yeah it's working now and for um, visibility purposes i'll still keep this uh, disable trigger set visibility based on can enable if can enable is true visibility is true so it's better for us to keep track okay what for some reason the collision was not updating but i don't want to dig into that because this method is working and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available here for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode also feel free to let me know what you think about this series and what else you guys would like me to cover in this series in future episodes. Goodbye.